Breakthrough discoveries require sophisticated science. Sophisticated science is conducted every day at Texas Biomedical Research Institute in San Antonio. As experts in infectious diseases, our scientists are searching for new diagnostics, treatments, and cures for a wide array of diseases caused by bacteria, viruses, and parasites, from pathogens that cause known scourges like malaria to emerging illnesses like Zika. Since 2000, Texas Biomed has been home to a biosafety level four lab, one of fewer than 10 in the country and the only one privately owned. The BSL-4 is home to some of the world's most dangerous infections, diseases for which there is no cure, like the hemorrhagic fever caused by Ebola virus. Dr. Ricardo Carrion is the director of maximum containment contract research at Texas Biomed. Yeah, the focus of the government is to develop cures, so therapies, vaccines, something to prevent the disease, and stockpile those in case of an event, either a man-made event, a terrorist attack, or a naturally occurring event, like what we saw in 2014 with the Ebola outbreak and how we had individuals come to the United States with Ebola and infect uh, Americans. Behind multiple steel doors, the scientists, technicians, and veterinarians conduct highly sensitive studies while suiting up against exposure. They work in full body suits connected by a hose to an air supply, looking like terrestrial astronauts as they collect and run samples, often from the animal models on site at Texas Biomed. Texas Biomed is also home to the Southwest National Primate Research Center. Residents for about 2,500 monkeys, crucial to the preclinical studies which paved the way for FDA-approved therapies. Dr. Carrion calls the combination of a high containment lab and a primate center a great match. So basically we are a one-stop shop where we can start with acquiring animals, vaccinating animals, transitioning them to BSO4, and actually challenging them or exposing them to an agent. And that minimizes the variation in your study because you have less variability. As well as basic research questions, scientists in the BSL-4 work on government-sponsored studies, commercial contracts, and grant projects. Work is conducted in a process called Good Laboratory Practices, or GLP, with careful quality control and assurance before and after experiments. That means independent oversight to ensure what was documented is precisely what happened in the lab. Precision is also at the heart of work in Texas Biomed's Biosafety Level 3 lab. Dr. Jordi Torres is director of the BSL-3 program, which is centered around communicable diseases that are serious and transmittable, but treatable. The Institute's newest disease focus in the BSL-3 is on diagnosing, preventing, and curing tuberculosis, a disease caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis. It's a specialized laboratory for specific microbes that are pathogenic for people. So uh, that can be transmitted by aerosol through the air, and that's the reason why we have a special biocontainment labs to keep them safe. Those safety controls include a negative pressure system that sucks air in and acts like a vacuum to keep pathogens from escaping, and the use of biosafety cabinets or hoods to protect the people working with the pathogen. Plus, all of the highly trained staff wear PPE, personal protective equipment, shoe covers, glasses, gowns, masks, and goggles they don every time they enter the lab and dispose of before they leave. Dr. Torres says Texas Biomed has both the expertise and the facilities to conduct reliable, groundbreaking research. That's important, since science can be expensive, time-consuming, and labor-intensive. You know, it's very costly and a bacteria that grows very slowly, an experiment can be two to three months. And there are some experiments, like in the case of infection in animals, that are experiments that go up to two years. The best science is powered by passion. Like many scientists at Texas Biomed, Dr. Carrion says he's driven by the desire for discovery. The viruses to me are very uh, efficient, very small but they're able to do so much in terms of how they interact, how they replicate, how they're able to invade the immune system, and to me that's fascinating. 
with the ability to take experiments from the early stages all the way through animal studies in high containment labs, Texas Biomed is combining the best minds with exceptional resources to protect human health. 